my God. You can't ban me from my company. No, bitch, you can't. I just did. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Hello guys. <laughs> this is the bold and the beautiful review. Okay, um let me just start with the beginning, okay? That's gonna be I'm gonna try to be quick because I need to get to the end. The end was too good. I was just like, ah, y'all better not. I, I don't want that episode to, to, to the, I don't want the last scene to be with Caroline and, and, and Ridge. I was like, y'all better not do this to me. But BNB, they learned. They learned. And they knew we wanted some Steffi and Ivy and all that good mess. Whew. Okay. Um, so Ivy gets to the hospital. Steffi's just talking to her. She's like, Oh my god, I don't know why these things keep on happening. And now we're all like, we know. <laughs> and then she's like, is it because of Liam? Like, <laughs> Liam. And I was just like, girl, 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 girl. Mm -mm. And then we have Thomas and Wyatt. Um, Wyatt blames Thomas for, for what happened to Ivy. And I'm just like... Listen, I understand what he's feeling, but at the same time, Thomas did not do this alone, okay? Ivy participated. And even though Ivy said it was a mistake and it should have never happened, she regrets it, it, it happened like three times, okay? Like, at some point, she, she, she was attracted to Thomas. That's it. She wanted some Thomas, okay? And he's fine, okay? Yeah, he's charming. So, um... You can't just blame Thomas for this. Plus, one thing that I want to want to say about it is that Thomas really looks it. It looks like he cares about her. I I don't know if it's he. I mean, it looks like it. I I don't know if it's really true. Um, cause he did like Caroline before, and it's like okay, so you switched for Ivy. Like, what's going on? And did you care about Charlotte? No, you did not. Okay, but. I'm a bit confused, and I just feel like we have Ridge, Caroline, Ivy, and Thomas, and it's like so complicated, plus Wyatt, and Ivy wants to be in the mix too, so, why, uh, sorry Steffi, you're going to be included, if you want to be involved, so we got all of those people, and it's like, what, what, where are we going with this? Anyways, the one thing that I found that was in poor taste, I really thought that was tasteless, like, really, guys. It's when Thomas was talking to Ivy. She, she, she's not conscious. She's just, you know, sleeping at this point. And Wyatt comes in, and he's like, you need to get out. And I was just like, Wyatt, that is not the time. Like, not, no, don't do it. Outside, all right, but not when Ivy is just sleeping. It might just hear you and unconscious and all of that. No, don't do it. So Ivy wakes up. Um, why is, is there? Thomas, Liam, and Steffi are there too. And they all speak to her. They're like, hello, Ivy. And Steffi said, hello, Ivy. We're happy that. I was just like, Steffi, shush, don't talk, do not speak, stay away. Because right now you don't know what Ivy remembers and how she sees you. So you need to stay away from her. Give her some time. Because I wouldn't want to see Steffi's face if I was Ivy. So um, Steffi feels uncomfortable because she sees the support. She leaves. Um, she, I think that's when she went home, okay? And Liam had a conversation with her, and he was like, those things keep on happening. At this point, like, I, I, I'm just tired of it. I am not used to conflict. I love my, uh, I, I love a peaceful life, okay? Like, I want to be, like, no trouble, no issues. I want to have fun all the time, okay? That's what I'm about. And um, Steffi was like, I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm not looking for trouble. And that's when I was like, mm. but you went looking for it. I am sorry, Steffi. You tried. You made sure, actually, to be the third person in a relationship of two. So, yeah, 
you were looking for trouble, when you were fishing for information, okay, when you were listening in to conversations, you were looking for trouble. Who told you to go see Thomas and Ivy? And why were you there? There was no work being done because seriously, you and Liam, all that you could talk about was Ivy and Wyatt and Thomas. I was like, where is the work, honey? But at some point, I heard you guys talk about a conference call, I, I think. But damn, like you guys had a lot of time to talk about those two, three people, actually, because Thomas. But why did you go see Thomas and Ivy if you didn't have any work, any plans of discussing work? You wanted to know if something happened, if something was happening. So you went there and you heard their conversation. You didn't knock on the door. No, you did not. And then when what you heard was not enough, you were like, let me go see my brother again. And you were like, tell me what happened. Or, or I'm going to go see Wyatt. So you were kind of like forcing him to tell you that tea, honey. So you really wanted to know. I'm sorry. You were looking and fishing for information and trouble. And you got it. Okay? You're in a big dude. Yes, you are. Um, so, yeah, Liam is upset and she keeps on talking about her engagement. I'm not taking off my rank. We have to get married, okay? You can't just... I was like, why are you thinking about marriage? Why are you thinking about the just your relationship here? And I'm just like, Liam, once you marry that girl, I ain't gonna feel sorry for you, Okay? Because you know what she's about. And you better be there for her when she gets in trouble. I don't want to hear you say, eh, maybe we need to get a divorce. I'm tired of it. I can't stand it. That's your life. That's the one you chose for yourself. Okay? All right. And then they proceed to have sex. And I was so upset about that because I just feel like, wait a minute here. You're going to take time to have sex. I don't, I don't even understand how you can be in the mood for that. I really don't get it. Like your cousin is in the hospital. You, you feel like you might be responsible or she might be mad at you or the police might get involved and stuff like that. And you just in the mood for some sexy time with Liam. When there's a chick in the hospital, that made me think about Ali and the memorial. Yeah, Liam, th that was the time to tell Ivy that y'all, y'all are done. Yeah, that was the time. The timing is, the timing is always wrong with them, and I'm just like, guys. <sighs> but it's okay. Ivy got them at the end. <laughs> oh, so then we get to um, Ridge and Caroline because they want to know about Ivy. They're so worried about her and I'm just kind of confused. You never cared about her before. Never, never. When your daughter fired her, you had nothing to say. You were like, oh, all right. And now that she got into an accident, you were like, ooh, how is she? What happened? We're so interested in her life. I was like, um, um, what for? But all right. And then they want to judge Thomas because Thomas um, came in and she, he told um, Caroline and Ridge that <clears throat> he kissed, uh, no, he's the man that, you know, Ivy was interested in. And then Ridge and Caroline, and I don't like how those two are just attached to the hips. Like, just like, stop. Y'all are a couple. You're not the same person. You're individuals. Like, come on. Whew. Um, so they went, I'm guessing, downstairs or back in, in, in some... Where the accident happened. They went back there. And Steffi was upset at the guys. She was like, y'all better do a good job. Because I don't need this thing to happen ever, ever again. And Rich was like, but why are you upset? And I'm like, I don't... Seriously... I didn't understand why he felt like Steffi was weird because an accident happened. They could actually be reliable for that. And seriously, Ivy could just sue the company. 
for some good old cash. Mmm, that cold, beautiful, green cash, okay? We want that green. So, Ivy could sue the company. Yeah, and I, at first I thought that maybe Ridge was worried about that. That's why he was so interested in Ivy and her well-being, you know? Because I was like, you, you never saw her as family anyways. So, maybe it's about the cash. So, yeah, Steffi was just like, listen, Dad, what happened was I kind of sort of pushed Ivy, okay? She was up in my face, so I pushed her. And, I mean, she was just mad because she's been kissing Thomas. I was like, Miss Steffi, you're forgetting about some stuff here. Okay, but it's fine. Ivy's going to make them understand she's gonna explain some things okay the things that you forgot about um so th there was that and also one thing that i want to talk about is the the nicole zanday and um maya okay those uh and eric i totally forgot that Zenday was Eric's grandson. That is so funny. He's a forester, but he looks like nobody. He's no one. He's not really there. Like, I feel like Zenday needs more scenes with Ridge. Okay, we need to remember that he's a part of this family. Why do we only have scenes with him and Nicole and Maya and Rick? Like, no. He needs to have conversations with his grandpa. Uh, we need to see him maybe with Steffi, too. Um, he looks like a child. And, um, I don't know. And with Maya, the only thing I want to say about Maya is that, again, she thinks about herself. She just learned uh, about um, Ivy getting into an accident. And she's like... I feel bad for thinking about myself, but I just kind of wish. I was like, bitch, it's not about you. Okay, just, just take a break. And I, I, I was just so tired of her. And I, I've, I've seen some comments uh, about Maya, and people were saying that Maya ain't that bad. I mean, she gave money to, to her mother. And I was like... She gave money to her mother kind of after a couple of weeks. I mean, like seriously, I have many problems, many issues with Miss Maya Forrester. When she had that beautiful wedding and her daddy said, you know what? I lost my job. I'm broke. I got no money. And I feel like it's your fault because my, my father, you know, he was like, bye, boo-boo. You are dis a disgrace. Bye. She did not pause and give money to her mom. Because it's one thing. You don't care about your daddy. That's one thing. But your mom who stayed with you, you didn't give anything from what we know. She did not give anything to her. She just went to her honeymoon. We went on a, my honeymoon. I went to my honeymoon. I had a good time. We had good sex. And I saw the country. Yes, it was beautiful. I went to a museum. Like, all right, you lived a good life. But your mom his back got back home and you don't know how she's doing. Does she have a job? Is she eating? Is she all right? You don't know about that. I mean... And they were living at that hotel, hotel, motel, whatever. And you just, oh, suddenly you wanted to give them money. All right. Thank you for thinking about your parents. I, 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 I don't know. Like, she don't get nothing from me. Because all of a sudden she thought, oh, that's Thanksgiving. Maybe they need something. Like, I don't know. I just can't with Maya. Anyways, um, back to the story. Okay, so then we get to um, Ivy and Wyatt, and Ivy is telling Wyatt that she's sorry and um, she regrets everything. She should have known that Thomas was playing her. And I was wondering why did she think that Thomas was playing her? She doesn't know about the bet, and maybe she just feels like. 
Thomas has done that before, so it must have been a game to him. Anyways, I don't know, but I just feel like Thomas made sure that she knew that it was serious because he once said to her, like, I want more than a couple of minutes with you. I don't know. Um, I mean, maybe it could have been a game. I mean, a lot of guys do say that, you know, just to get you do get you to do. Oh, oh. So, um, okay. So she felt like she was being played by Thomas. She is. She is saying sorry and sorry to Wyatt, and of course Wyatt is forgiving her. I just kind of feel bad because I feel like Wyatt should have been like, "We're gonna discuss this another day when you you are um fine, okay? When you are not in danger, when you're no longer sick." Cause I feel like he has the right to stay or leave that relationship. And now that she is sick and that she needs support, she needs him. It's like he can't say no. He can't just leave her, break up with her again. So um, there's that. And then we have Liam coming in. And Ivan and Liam have that moment. I'm looking at you. And you're looking at me. Okay, and he comes in, and they talk, and Ivy tells him, like, you need to worry about Steffi, honey, like, I'm worried about her, like, sh and Liam was like, what do you mean, what are you talking about, she pushed me, <laughs> and um, Liam was like, it's an accident, and, I mean, you were in her face, and Ivy was like, okay, so I had a rock in my hand, like, I was just like, oh! And what you guys don't understand, those who are Steffi's fans, what y'all don't understand is that Ivy never really believed Steffi, okay? And she, people around her, Wyatt, Liam, Thomas, are telling her that she's wrong, that she shouldn't believe uh, in her two eyes. Because what she's seeing in the video is that there's no rock. So there's always that doubt in her mind that maybe Steffi really wanted to kill Allie because there was no rock. And the only one who who saw the rock, who who knew about the rock, was Steffi. And can she believe Steffi? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I kind of felt like um, maybe um, Ivy is like, okay, that's the second time. And that's the second accident. Like, come on. It happened twice. Okay? Mm hmm Mm, this time, I know I was not about to kill you. I was not trying to kill you. So why did you feel the need to push me into that panel? Okay? Did you do it on purpose? That's the question here. Okay? Because Steffi knew about the panel. And she's probably thinking that Steffi, for a second, thought, you know what? Let me push that bitch in that panel because I'm tired of her. Boop. And... Maybe that bad judgment, it was bad judgment, okay? And maybe just mm, Steffi made that, that mistake again. So, I mean, there, there's that going on. And, and it was just so good to see this whole thing happen. Liam standing up for Steffi, that was cute. But um, for a while, he had those same arguments, Okay, when he was talking to Steffi, what did he say? You pushed, it happened again? Like, why does it keep happening? Like, what's wrong with that? Like, yeah, now? So then Steffi comes in. I was like, oh, Steffi, you better not. And if I, and the whole time I was thinking, Ivy, I would have clicked for the nurse and I would have said, that bitch better never come in my room ever again. I do not want to see her. I don't want her to be able to touch me. Touch me. She she needs to, to go away. But she did not do that. She said she stayed close to Wyatt. I was like, okay. Yeah, you're not in danger because Wyatt's there and Liam's there. And but I would have been, I don't want her in my room i would never feel i i, I was like is it ivy i don't know how you're doing it because i wouldn't want to see her not that soon after the accident okay no you need to stay you need to stay away from me so of course Steffi's apologizing and saying you know uh we fixed the problem it's never gonna happen again 
And you see Ivy looking like, I don't want to see that bitch. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to listen to her. And she's like, there's too many visitors <laughs> in the room. Meaning, bitch, you extra. You need to go, Steffi. You need to go. But she's like, okay, let me breathe. Let me breathe. White's here. And then we see Lieutenant Baker with some food in his mouth, okay? I think it was some diets, okay? But I was just like, God damn, you're always hungry. You always gotta have something in your mouth. Hmm. So, um, he then says, Oh, I was looking for you, Miss Forrester. It's like, it's like, why are you looking for me? And I was like, oh my gosh. They're probably going to talk about the alley thing. They're going to say, oh, case closed. And I was just like, we knew this case was closed, okay? Because y'all, you, you never came back, Lieutenant Baker, okay? <laughs> they had time to move on. Jeez. Um, with their lives, okay? Steffi had time to just plan her wedding. <laughs> Child. So, um, he then says, uh, that's a restraining order filed by Ivy Forrester. <laughs> I was like, oh, interesting. And he then says, like, you can't be near her, okay? Uh, don't forget, you can't, that includes work. You can't show up at work. And I, and Stephanie was like, uh, uh, wait a minute, I'm a president. And <laughs> I'm the president, honey. Whew, I miss my hair, because I would have had those Anyways, so, um, I'm the president, and Lieutenant Bacon's like, it doesn't matter. I was like, oh, because Steffi loves to say that she's a president, she's the president of the company, and I was just like, oh, that must hurt, that your title can't do nothing for you, Steffi, ooh, that hurts, honey, that hurts, and she then tells Ivy, well, you know what, you're a designer, you can design from anywhere, and um I need my office and White was like but <laughs> but Steffi you can't you know what Ivy is in the hospital right now so while she's there you can go to your office take your stuff so you can work at home I was like oh Steffi <laughs> oh Wyatt the one guy you were so worried about and on your side See, don't get involved, don't get involved in people's business, okay? It's like, it's like family, you know, when two brothers or two sisters are mad at each other, or brother and sister are mad at each other, don't get involved, because at some point, they will forget, forgive each other, and then guess what? They won't talk to you, okay? You don't get involved, you stay away, you... <laughs> Don't look for trouble. So Steph is really upset. She's angry. She's like, are you serious right now? Okay. It was just an accident. And I was like, yeah, I know. It was another accident. It happened twice. Again. And I want to protect myself for future accidents. I was like, yes, bitch. You better say it. You better say it. Yes, honey. Yes. Mm. And Lieutenant Baker saw how Steffi was getting mad. And Steffi was about to get closer to Ivy, you know. Just to be in her face, you know. And Lieutenant Baker was like, oh no, boo-boo. Mm -mm, that ain't happening, honey. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Steffi was like, you can't ban me from my company. And Ivy was like, baby, I just did. I just did. <sighs> Steffi, 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 you know, mm. peace, you gotta love peace, because when you look for trouble, you just find it, and Ivy, I know you're on top right now, You, I know you're on top, but it was an accident, and, um, it was an accident, I, I, but I love seeing Steffi sweat, it was just too good, I was just like, <laughs> Yes, yes, okay, um, what, there was something else I wanted to talk about, it was Thomas and, um, Ridge and Caroline, I am so upset 
with Rich because I just feel like he cannot talk to, to Thomas. Not after the life he has led. No, okay? You don't respect women, okay? You go after women who are committed to other men and to uh, they are in a relationship and you don't care. You just take whoever you want and whether she likes it or not. And I was like, boo, boo. Okay, you're the one who was with Morgan, with Brooke, with Taylor, with other girls, Caroline the first and Caroline 2.0. You got involved with Katie. I forgot about that one. And I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting about other girls too. So, uh-uh. You don't get to speak. You don't get to talk to him about the things you've done in your life. Okay? You, maybe you should try to teach him some things. I don't know. Okay? If you were trying to teach him stuff, maybe. Okay, look. I did those things in my past. Okay? And I'm going to tell you this. It does not work out in the end. No, you're not trying to do that you want to blame him you want to be mad at him while you keeping his son away from him okay you want to raise your grandchild what the hell why do you think you can't speak why do you think you can't get mad no 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 honey no 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 stop blaming thomas okay Stop blaming Thomas because seriously, I just feel like you're mad at yourself. Okay, Thomas is the younger version of you and your time has passed. Yes, your time has passed. Sit down and just... And you know what, what offends me is people want to be mad at Thomas for the things that he's doing, but Steffi's doing the same thing and has done the same thing. I'm sorry, Rich, you, I don't remember you being that mad at Steffi for getting involved in Hope and Liam's relationship or in Ivy and, um, Ivy and Liam's relationship. Oh, you were like, okay, if you want to do that, all right, all right. No, 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 Rich, you don't get to speak. Just shush. Please, shush. <sighs> Okay, guys, that was my review. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Like me on Facebook. I would like to tell y'all that I'm sorry, but next week I won't be, I don't think I, I will be able to make reviews. So I apologize. But um, we will see each other. Uh, I, I will see y'all very soon, okay? I hope. Bye-bye. Like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to share the video.